Alright, so then again, uh, I'm going to mark this um, 2015. And I'm hiding out in one of the rooms. Um, I have to say, the group that seems to think they understand alienation. They don't, because this has been one of the most alienating experiences of my life. I'm supposed to be coming tomorrow, but I don't think I will. Don't get me wrong, it's not their fault. Not entirely, anyway. Part of it is I'm not exactly a social animal. But... I expected a level of left-wing thought, but this is beyond what I thought it was going to be, and that's alienating in itself. Then they're using language that I think is going to stop them recruiting people and that's a shame because they really do seem to want the best of society um, I attended a what was supposed to be a course sorry I'm holding my tablet with one hand um, but it wasn't. It was three half-hour talks at you. That's not a course. I may have only done the first very initial teacher training qualification, but that is not a course. Um, and I don't know. It's very disappointing. It really is. I came here to learn about how the left thinks. And I've kind of got it. And with all their um, talk of learning from history with uh, historical uh, materialism or whatever the term is, because, quite frankly, I am tired of being called comrade all day. Um, I actually didn't want to get up and interact with anybody because of that. Being called comrade is not what I'm used to, and that is going to put people off. I, I think the problem is, it's not with the... Me with the, the aims, it's the way they put the message across. It's a case of language. Um, and it really is such a shame. It really is. I mean, like I said, I'm supposed to be coming back tomorrow, but I quite frankly had enough. In fact, I'm only sticking around for the next session because it's about mental health. Otherwise, I would have shot off home by now, and I'd be doing this on my laptop. But I wanted to do it here so you at least get to see a different backdrop. Um, yeah, what what I see around me is a sea of faces who really do want the best for society, whether, whether their approach is right or not, is up to history to decide. It's not up to me. But, all I actually see are a bunch of very disappointed Marxist faces because 
all I can see in their future if they don't change the language and the, the way they convey their message. Very, very disappointed, Mark, just because they're going to get hit again and again and again. They won't get the critical mass they think they need to create the change that they want for society. And that's really is a shame. I'm sorry this, isn't, this is even less eloquent than my usual efforts, but I really can't describe how I feel. I mean, I'm used to feeling alienated, but I stick out here like a polar bear in the Rockies or a sane person in the House of Commons. And yeah, it's just terribly, terribly sad that I'm going to come away from this trying to have picked up the best that the left has to offer, the best ideas, so that I could try and incorporate them into something new, and instead come away thinking that the conversation I had with the guy on the train coming up, who I'd never met before, and who told me about getting his free train pass, uh, train and bus pass, and been able to go all around London now. That was the best part of my day. And that is just not right. This should have been such a really good experience, really good learning experience. But all I've really learned is these guys are not going to recruit anybody, anybody new if they don't change the language that they use. See you later. Thanks for listening.